I just recently discovered an application tonight called iPhone Ringtone Maker that allows you to put custom ringtones on your iPhone and it's actually fairly easy. Uh, I also detailed some steps to get this working on a Mac computer because you have to run it in Windows so I've got parallels loaded up. Now I'm going to uh, go ahead and take my iPhone and connect the cable to it and what should happen is uh, I've got iTunes opened up there nothing should happen in iTunes. Uh, it tries to launch a Photoshop album but in iTunes it's not appearing so I went online I went to the parallels forums and I have the steps detailed on my blog but uh, I'm going to go in here I'm going to right click on my computer go to manage and then down here uh, hit the plus sign next to service and applications click on services over here to the right Apple mobile device and say restart now this is after I have iTunes open and the iPhone is connected and then one now let me go ahead and try to zoom in a little bit so you can see how simple this application is to use so there's the simple interface for the application it's got uh, make a ringtone or manage my ringtones and if you click on manage you can see that I've got uh, several ringtones already loaded on my iPhone let's go back to the maker ring phone maker ringtone you can uh, get a music file using your music folder browse the computer and then there's some tips and settings and help I'm gonna go ahead and browse my computer uh, I've got a couple ringtones in here that I've labeled and it just opens up uh, got a big list here I'm gonna go ahead uh, let's see LA law or law and order Let's try Gilligan. I haven't tried that one yet, so let's say Gilligan. And there it appears, Gilligan Wave. Uh, it's got the timeline. Now if I say preview, it should play the song. And there you go. Now on the timeline, it'll also show you like a minute 30. You can use the start and end and adjust how long you want that ringtone to be. You can take the middle of the clip, uh, wherever you want in that song you can set as your ringtone. You can also hit this uh, little button called Go Advanced. You can, have it fit, you can have it fade in and fade out. You can add some effects, uh, reverb, flanger, phaser, echo, auto wah wah, none, or click Go Simple and go back to simple. So you can customize a lot of what you want to have your ringtone be. You can do preview after you get it all customized, listen to it, and then after you're ready to go, tells you a size right there as well. You just say, simply click, create ringtone. It goes through the process of creating the MP3 file that it's going to put on there. And there it is. Then you, it says, gives you the detailed file information. You just click send ringtone to iPhone. You can rename your ringtone. Say OK or click OK. And now this little pop-up appears. It says, uh, it's been sent to your iPhone. Please power off your iPhone, then turn it back on and select this ringtone from the setting sounds. And it tells you how to turn off your iPhone. And then you say OK. There's your manage ringtone list, and that's it. Since I didn't really do much of that, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So that's as simple as it is. Um, now I'll go ahead and show, disconnect my iPhone real quickly here. And let's bring it here and show you that. And as you can see, I've got Happy Days, The Jetsons, Johnny Quest, uh, Knight Rider's actually my default ringtone right now, Law and Order, Mission Impossible, uh, Monsters. Here's uh, Knight Rider if we click on it. And you can hear that's how my ringtone. It's very cool. It's a very quick, easy application. Introductory price right now is $9.95. I went and paid mine just a few minutes ago. Uh, regular price they say is $20, but uh, it's a pretty good deal. You can, you know, once you pay that one price, there's no other cost. Uh, they actually say there's going to be some free upgrades for you, and you can go ahead and make all the ringtones you want and load them up on your iPhone. Enjoy!